So today I'll be testing the outdoor virtual tour function of the Lab Pano Pilot One 8K 360 degree camera. And stay tuned because although it works in the end, it ended up being a little tricky and I had to work with Lab Pano and do a bit of learning myself in order to get to a good solution or at least figure out how I might get there in the future. Make sure you keep watching to find out what happened. If you've seen my previous video on this camera, you'll have seen me cover the functions of the camera in some detail. All of that's in the description in this video. Now that we're emerging from COVID-19 lockdown here in New Zealand, I finally got a chance to do the virtual tour demonstration video that I said I'd do, and a few people have been reminding me about. Now, virtual tours and other cameras can be painful with shooting photos with your camera via a third party app, then uploading to a third party platform, Platform, and then waiting for them to process the image and even then there's often limitations as to what you can do with them with what you've created and how you can share it on social media websites or other platforms. The Pilot One promises to take most of that hassle away to leave you with a very simple solution to getting a virtual tour photographed, uploaded, hosted and processed on an integrated Pilot Tour platform and shareable and embeddable on another website very quickly indeed. Well, that's the theory anyway. Let's try and put it into practice. So let's head on out to somewhere here in Wellington, New Zealand. Let's go somewhere with a view. I'm here in Wellington above a very quiet airport. We're in lockdown here still on COVID-19 and I'm here with the Pilot One and I'm demonstrating the virtual tour. So let me show you how you do this. Okay, let's go ahead and hit camera and we look to see if we're already in virtual tour. If it's not, then go ahead and scroll here and select Pilot Tour and hit the screen to confirm that. Now go ahead and select the gear icon and we're gonna choose 8K resolution right here because yes, well, we can. And then get a countdown for maybe five seconds because we need to hide somewhere or maybe I just won't bother. In the pro settings, you can adjust all the settings like ISO, EV, white balance and all of the other settings too. But we're just gonna use auto settings to make this easy. Ideally, I wanted to turn on HDR photos instead but it seemed not to work when I tried that hopefully they'll fix that in a firmware update in the future because I think it will just improve the dynamic range of these photo tools just immeasurably okay so that's it so now I'm gonna hit the capture button type in a name let's just call this something here and we should be set once I set the camera height okay so now the camera gives you some information and an instruction screen on how you should move the camera now the camera seemed to get stuck on this screen for a while, even though I was moving the camera, I wasn't sure it was some kind of orientation or trying to get a, a lock on where you are. But anyway, it took a while for that message to disappear. I had to restart the camera a few times and then eventually it just went. I couldn't figure out what I did differently to make that disappear. And I'll come back to that later because it seems like it could be a critical path that isn't working so well. So I ended up taking 18 photos and when I got the camera back home, I tried hitting upload and I got this message, which was unexpected. So after several Facebook chats and emails with Lab Pano, they couldn't figure out what was going on either. And after some testing indoors and then outdoors again closer to home, I went back again a week later to Moa Point to see what I could get. And if you see here, I managed to get 10 photos captured successfully, and this time successfully uploaded to the Pilot Tour site. So once I went into my account with Lab Pano, then I took a look around to see what I had managed to capture. Let's take a look at the 10 photo tour that I eventually managed to capture. You can see the tour opening up, looking at the topmost gun fortification in the complex. If you look at the floor here, you can see the markers where photos have been taken and these are the navigational click waypoints to take you to different places on the tour. If we take a scroll around, you can see that even on auto settings, the Pilot One does a good job of capturing details and a good dynamic range, although there's a fair bit of purple fringing you can see around me and other objects. Okay, let's click to the next point and take a good look around. I really like the job that the Pilot One has done with capturing the sky here. It's pretty impressive. Okay, we can see through the wall here and some kind of virtual tour overlay, and you can see the other click points on the other side of the bunker. Let's take a look over there. 
Now you can see this purple spot appearing in each photo, which I'm guessing is an artifact of the light coming into the lens system. It seems to appear regularly. I'm not sure that anything can be done about it. I'm going to click on this waypoint on the other side of the bunker because I want to be on that side of the building. There are more photos that I took, but they don't appear to be showing up, even though the account listing screen said that there were 10 photos in this virtual tour. So yes, just beyond where I'm standing here, I took another three photos which just aren't here on this virtual tour. I wonder what happened. On reflection, I wonder if the distance between these photos meant that they couldn't be linked together. Maybe I was too far apart. It's the only explanation I can think of as to why they haven't shown up. Do you have any theories? Please do leave them in the comments for this video. But other than that, I'm really impressed with the quality of the images that I captured and rendered on this pilot tour platform. Okay, after all that, the third time I tried to capture an outdoor pilot tour with the Pilot 1, here's what happened. Okay, I'm here and I'm trying to get the Pilot 1 to sort itself out and orient itself, orient itself. and it's just not working. No matter what I do, it seems to take for ages and get hung up on this point. So it's still pretty flaky if you ask me. It's not working as, as well as it should be. So my conclusion is that it kind of works, but it's still very much a work in progress. On two out of the three times, the camera appears to have failed in some way. And on the other occasion where I did get some images on the Pilot 1 to load, I think it may have been user error with me taking the photos too far apart. At least that's what I'm figuring. Here's my Q&A video with LabPanel about the Pilot 1, including whether the virtual tour function will be coming to their other more expensive camera, which preceded the Pilot 1, the Pilot Era. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. My name's Saab Johal. Thanks again for watching and see you again soon.